Monsoons are right around the corner and I absolutely love driving in the rains. But I know a lot of people who feel apprehensive about driving on wet roads. They think it's dangerous and they're absolutely right. Monsoons hamper visibility and grip. But there are quite a few ways in which you can make sure that you and your car are well equipped to deal with such situations. So we've driven out of town today to explain it to you how to become a better and a safer driver this monsoon. We've come here today with our long-term Hyundai Venue and the Grand i10 Neos. But before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to Evo India for some epic automotive content. Let's start with the cars first and look at things you need to check before you even set out in the rains. You don't even need a mechanic for this as these are things you can check all by yourself. Tires play a key role in maintaining the intended trajectory of your car. The tread patterns and the groove profiling are designed to channel water out. Now let me show you a simple trick to help you understand what a good tread pattern looks like. Take a coin, insert it in the tread pattern and see how far in it goes. If it doesn't sink, then your tires need replacement. The next step is to check if the wiper blades are uniformly washing water off the windshield. If they are broken or if these rubber liners are worn out, it's time for replacement. And replacement is not a tedious process. All you need to do is go to the service center. Rains hamper visibility and you must ensure that the headlamps, tail lamps and the turn indicators of your car are functioning properly. If they're not, get them replaced as soon as possible. Many Hyundai cars today like the Grand i10 Neos and the Venue get projector headlamps which provide excellent visibility in poor lighting conditions. While it is your responsibility to be safe on the road, you must also ensure that you contribute to other motorists' safety. These mud flaps, they prevent water from spraying up on other motorists' windscreens and visors. If they are broken, get them replaced. Monsoons or not, you must ensure that the brakes are in top condition at all times. Moreover, if the brakes are worn out, it only increases the braking distance. And that's why you must ensure that the brake pads, brake lines and brake discs are in a good condition and the brake fluid levels checked. Moist and humid climate makes your car susceptible to rust. Car makers provide rust protection through paint or some form of coating. But if there are dents or scratches, these portions risk of getting rusty. In that case, make sure you get them painted and coated again. Now that your car is in order, let's take a look at things that you can do to become a better driver. The first thing is to learn how to operate the throttle smoothly. Aggressive throttle inputs can cause the wheels to spin, potentially sending you out of control. To avoid this, you must learn how to operate the throttle smoothly and progressively. The next thing to remember while driving on wet roads is to keep your pace in check. Slow speeds allow a much better reaction time and it also reduces the distance it takes to brake. All new Hyundai cars come with speed alerts and that goes a long way in helping you to keep your pace in check. Another important thing to remember while driving on wet roads is to keep distance. Trust me, keeping vehicular distance is as important as social distancing these days. You never know when the driver ahead of you is going to slam the brakes. So it's always better to maintain a few car lengths of distance that gives you ample time to react and enough distance to bring your car to a halt. Aquaplaning occurs when a layer of water builds up between the tyre and the road surface. This usually happens at very fast speeds and if you find yourself aquaplaning, do not panic and most definitely do not slam your brakes. Just gently lift off the throttle and allow your car to slow itself down. Always remember, if the weather is too dangerous and you are not confident driving, do not hesitate to pull over. Wait until the weather improves and then get back onto the road. Modern cars like the Hyundai Venue that I'm driving right now and the Grand i10 Neos that we have on the shoot today are equipped with safety features and electronic aids that help in low grip situations. Let's go take a look at how these systems work. When you absolutely slam the brakes hard in non-ABS cars, they tend to lock their wheels up. And when that happens, you cannot steer the car and you cannot control the momentum. What ABS does is, it prevents the wheels from locking up. So when you brake hard, 
you can steer the car and you can bring it to a halt in a very controlled momentum. Now neither of the two cars that we have here today have all wheel drive. But Hyundai's flagship SUV in India, the Tucson gets all wheel drive. All wheel drive sends power to all four wheels. So even if two wheels lose traction, the rest two can power you forward out of tricky situations. ESC alters the vehicle's braking to individual wheels for better control during evasive maneuvers. It's based on the ABS and anti-slip control technologies, but uses a more extensive set of sensors that detect steering angle, lateral acceleration, and your rate. Hyundai's premium cars like the Freta, Verna, Venue, and Elantra get this feature. Powerful Hyundai cars like the Tucson even get traction control, another feature that uses an onboard computer and sensors to detect if one wheel is spinning faster than the others. In that case, TC momentarily breaks or cuts engine power to these wheels, helping you regain control. If you think we've missed out on any safety or maintenance tips, feel free to mention them in the comment section below. We also have a dedicated video on how to become a better driver. For that, watch our Be The Better Guy series using this link above. That said, we hope you apply these suggestions and become a better and a safer driver this monsoon. Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.